Yeah, um, most of you were uh, there uh, yesterday. So I think I, I'm going to pick up or go on, on this uh, constituency and constituent power uh, relationship. Uh, uh, we were talking yesterday that this, that this term constituency could be uh, used as a sort of clue or password to, to the very making of uh, constituent power in, uh, today, that is, constituencies would be this uh, newly formed, uh, historically, politically newly formed uh, matrices of, uh, of new constituent power related to, of course, to uh, social, uh, labor, and political metamorphosis. And, uh, and we were, uh, I talked about uh, four uh, main, as far as I know, four main uh, matrices that were, uh, <coughs> if you remember, they were uh, the uh, post-colonial matrix, the fact that uh, traditional constitutionalism, traditional conceptions of uh, Constitution, Verfassung, uh, uh, Grundgesetz, uh, Grundgesetz, uh, etc., uh, are all related to the idea, the modern idea of popular sovereignty. And uh, the, the post colonial uh, dimension, which means, of course, the struggles of uh, subaltern subjects uh, against colonial domination, but also the result of it in the in former uh, metropolis, colonial metropolis, uh, mm, makes things uh, look so different that we can't uh, have any more this idea of a people. Uh, what uh, C.S. felt as le pouvoir constituant de la nation, the constituent power of the nation, this idea of the nation is something totally uh, destroyed by as a progressive uh, approach to constituent power by this post-colonial thing, just less than the fact that uh, we have in Europe, for instance, a constellation of cities and metropolis that made the, 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 the hubs and the main uh, framework of uh, social cooperation, of uh, social and political, and, and the people <laughs> and the, 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 or even the individuals since we have spoken, you have spoken of individuals, are post-colonial, they like not love. Think of London, think of Paris. Think of, so uh, this national or even nationalist uh, idea, notion of uh, constituent has to be replaced by this multiplicity. Uh, this multitude, the multitude is post-colonial, or the post-colonial leads to the multitude. As the, as the main uh, actor of constituent power today. Uh, the second one was the technopolitical matrix, and this is something quite relevant since we have uh, November and, and uh, sorry. Uh, Mitch. Mitch, sorry. Uh, have spoken of uh, stigmergy. And stigmergy is uh, the main key in, in this shift from uh, cooperation be between or among unintelligent insects, because this is key to stigmergy, the fact that unintelligent actors can cooperate <laughs> in a distributed way. When we pass to, when we shift to uh, intelligent <laughs> humans, or if we set up from the idea of a general intellect, right? Karl Marx introduced very briefly, just one occurrence, in the Grundrisse <laughs> and the post-operaized uh, school of thought uh, just, uh, you know, uh, pulled away this thread uh, in order to develop a new idea of, uh, of the social, uh, socially constructed labor uh, subject as an individual. Uh, things uh, change a lot since uh, what we have with this uh, technopolitical extinct merging is that intelligent uh, 
which means complex, uh, you know, uh, paradoxical, uh, and I would subjectively determined uh, subject can uh, nonetheless cooperate through this stigmergy. And stigmergy is about uh, following signals, pheromones, and, uh, and things that ants and other insects follow because they are not, they are not intelligent at all. They just follow these traces. But what do we follow when we interact, uh, for instance, in a, in a, in a swarming like uh, May 15 uh, started and these uh, new uh, swarming techniques of, of, of collective action? There are two dimensions of it. One is the algorithm, which would be, let's think, for instance, of the hashtags in Twitter. There are kind of, uh, of uh, traces that you follow because you want to know, or you want to intervene about, I don't know, uh, uh, indignacion, for instance, as a hashtag or something. And, and you have this algorithmic uh, cooperation because you, even for a trending topic, but also to start uh, mobilization, but at the, and on the other side of it, the algorithm it vehiculates or channels effects. And those effects are, are not opposed to intelligence, but are like the, 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 the with what are they, we, we could think of them as the pathic, uh, pathic uh, subjectivation, which means that you are caught or, 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 or prehended by an effect that leads you to uh, to, in, to 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 act, and even in, in without so-called rational individual reflection, and and this is key to understand the, the way uh, the Occupy uh, movements uh, emerge and, and develop without any uh, formal leadership or formal hierarchy or, or whatever, and this uh, production of affects through computers, <coughs> this technopolitical interface between brains, hands, bodies, and, 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 and systems and networks of computers creates <coughs> these uh, autoproyectic uh, systems, which are not technical, are, are not more than technical, because they, the, the, the main, uh, so to say, glue to these uh, network systems is the the, the velocity and the and the expansion of these effects that can uh, uh, that can uh, produce effects on on uh, that go beyond territorial divisions even that are transversal to uh, social uh, categories or classes in the sociological sense and and that. Uh, and that produce a, a sort of multi-level, multi-layer system of interactions, like we saw in, in Puerta del Sol, uh, for instance. Uh, everything was connected in a, in, a, in a network system. The physical people in the streets were connected to the people in, I don't know, in Johannesburg, uh, participating there, watching the streaming, and, 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 and being affected and affected, saying you're great people, etc. We can do the same here, etc. So this is uh, this is something that has to do with uh, uh, the, the effect and emotions are, are something that through this computing uh, are they they become qualitative. They are not just plain emotions like the emoticons or this is standardized. Uh, expression of, of emotions. They are singular, they, are, they have qualities, new qualities, in the sense that they are turned similarly, like outrage, indignation, but the very uh, substance of it is uh, singularly and contingently produced. The indignation created in 2011 is something new, it's an invention of subjectivity. So this idea that subjectivation is a production of new affects, which means the new ways of affecting the others and being affected by the others. And this is the mechanism of, of uh, the production of subjectivity. So this uh, leads to a certain critique of in the individual, as you pose it, because 
the individual is a, a sort of a, of a shell, uh, a nutshell of, 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 a, of a hub of relationships, of affective relationships, of singularities. Now I have to use the word because <laughs> there is always a danger of uh, any opposition between uh, groups and individuals. Because the individual is just, the, the, would be, from this point of view, just the, the line of flight of any collective, hierarchical, or communi communitarist, strong communitarist uh, uh, stratification and, and dominion. But just that, because since you operate as an individual against a group, you're just enacting a set of singularities that's it, that is pushing you to go against or outside. The other one uh, would be the, the what I have termed the, the symbiopolitical. In, in the we're taking this notion by Lynn Margulis now of uh, symbiotic uh, evolutionary invention, no? this horizontal and singular uh, hybridization between uh, different organisms that breaks with this linear idea of evolution which uh, leads us to, 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 to an idea of, uh, of a situation, of a present situation in which uh, metamorphosis occur uh, through the interaction of subjects. And if we relate this with the, the care relationship, with this affective labor, which we said it, uh, that was invisible, that it was unpaid, by the way, because it, it is labor, and it is politically mostly everywhere unrecognized, and that explains a lot of the, 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 the predicament of the condition of women and all people doing effective work, mostly women, we could say, but it's not anything essential to women, of course. Uh, that is a fundamental feature of this uh, new constituency because uh, this uh, leads to a, a, this breaks down absolutely, breaks. Uh, away with any separation of the political and the social, of the, of the representative politics and the, and the, and the micro-politics uh, that is common to any, uh, uh, any uh, neutralization of the constituent power through the very constitution. Uh, the, the, the classical uh, capture of uh, constituent power has been to turn it into a constitution and to fix it. That's why uh, Condorcet and Jefferson said that uh, every uh, 30 years uh, there should be a revolution to change the constitution because every generation has to have its own constitution. And, and this is the case now. And the, the last one would be the post-national. The post-national means that uh, this set of in the interdependencies, geographical, political, economical, just let's think of the European Union that can be, uh, that is uh, absolutely dying uh, because of this uh, incapacity of the progressive forces to think in non-national terms, mostly uh, in the core countries. Huh? We, we, we mentioned France, the situation in France, uh, which is about everybody's talking about sovereignty, the, the far right is sovereign, sovereignist, <coughs> the left is also sovereignist, and they want to uh, liberate France from secret and hidden external foreign powers and so on. This sort of uh, nationalist paranoia is a sort of uh, black hole that uh, is provoked by this incapacity to think in post-national terms, because what does it mean in France to think de la nation française when you have so many millions of people that are post-colonial subjects, but French nationals that live in the banlieues? And in this sense, uh, is any uh, new uh, May 68 possible in France? The answer is no, because any such thing would begin in the banlieue, and the banlieue <laughs> is not going to be like the Sorbonne and Daniel Convendi, things like that. It's going to be quite different. 
But if we think it in this post-national and post-colonial, it could have some constituency because it, 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 can, it, it can be explained at this emergence of the po post-colonial unconscious, of the post-colonial subjects wanting their own constitution or their own constituent power. So, uh, uh, in this sense, uh, it is worth to, to ask ourselves is, uh, if, uh, if uh, we should think uh, that we need a constitution, even a European one, uh, because any constitution is a, it's a sort of transfer of the sovereign power to the state and the representatives of the state. And we, we suggested that we should not be statocentric in this sense. And that leads us to, to this idea of, of a non-state constituent power, which means that we could have a, a, a production of norms without any, uh, like they say in, 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 in Germany, any Grundgesetz, the fundamental law which is like a sort of you know, uh, principle of principles. Because this is uh, fixing uh, a relation and, and at the same time separating it from the life of the constituent power. And, but how can we have an orderly society, uh, which means that we regulate the antagonist system, that we regulate this uh, element of, uh, uh, of uh, the incapacity to measure what is worth in society, because this is one, one feature of the new constituent power. How can we measure the value of things, the value of cooperation, the different value of labor, the different uh, values, use and exchange value of things? A constitution beyond measure is something that inevitably has to be a, a continuous process. And how can we have a continuous process? There are some inspirations to that uh, in the yeah in the systemic autopoietic uh, uh, law school like the Teutner and, and other people that that setting out from the the way corporations uh, create norms and commercial exchanges create norms through these uh, recursive and 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 and, and, and non. Uh, non-conscious, uh, so to say, there is no conscious uh, deliberative subject establishing laws like a sovereign, but rather it is a, a complex process of emergence of norms through a, a, a multiple layers and recursive layers of interactions. And since we have proven uh, that uh, in the May 15 uh, movement, there has been this capacity to, to, to decide uh, without any central imputation of the decision, we should think also about this. This involves uh, referenda, this involves uh, this uh, idea that uh, there can be several uh, forms of discussion about how things can be done that interact at the same time yeah, and, and, and that lead to a, to, a, to a decision, a provisional decision, but effective and legitimate one. And this is something that can, I think, that can take us out of this impasse, of this, uh, this dead end of, of, uh, of the new constituent power, because uh, we want to break with the old world of uh, state and constitutions and, and, and the monopoly of violence and so on, and the, these uh, limits uh, of, the, of the rule of law approach and check and balances that means that any uh, desires created in society, any constituent power has to be tamed because it, it can affect the others, the antagonists, the enemies of it. And since we don't think in terms of uh, friend and foe, but rather in terms of agonisticism or antagonism that don't lead to civil war, don't lead, we can uh, have this approach and, and, and develop a sort of uh, institutions of the common that create new constitutions, provisional ones. No? And I think that is something that we can apply to cultural institutions as well, uh, because uh, they should create their own uh, 
constituent assemblies, so to say, in order to be able to give themselves an institute, like the of the, of the topic of the commons, of the copyleft, of the, of the, of the archive of the common. No? There are, these are, these are uh, topics that are being developed, particularly in the Reina Sofia, and, and, but that are absolutely formal, <laughs> which means not much has been done about it. Mm. Because I, I would say that, in a sense, you need an insurrection to change a single cultural institution. <laughs> it's very expensive, in fact. Because when you try to go beyond an intervener or something like that, uh, you know, uh, put things uh, like, uh, you know, uh, in a certain trouble, there is always the constitu constitutive power that acts and says, hey, listen, we have partners, we have uh, funders, we have a real constitution here, so don't fuck up, don't mess here. And how do you change that? Uh, you need, uh, you really need to, uh, to create publics in this sense, which means that you need to uh, really uh, interact or create this constituency and be part of it in order to start a process, which means risky business, because of course this uh, starts uh, an agonist process. And I think that is something that as an international, which <laughs> International, which means that we go beyond uh, beyond the borders, we go, we go beyond national cultures and so on, in order to achieve something new from the cultural field. We must stress uh, on that and propose it as a as a prototype also for for other fields, for other sectors, because it is, we, there is an ambivalence in the real ambivalence in this. Uh, you know, uh, sort of metaphors that are common in, 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 in our cultural institutions because there is so much talk of revolution, singularity, common, etc. But uh, nothing changes in the institutions themselves. So how can we deal with that? It's not, we shouldn't be frustrated because it's about a way of doing constituencies, of making constituencies and just let things go by themselves. To think of this stick merge of interactions and to try to reach to a point in every society, in every city, that allows, that allows uh, the, 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 the users, the people that uses institutions and works in them to really try and do something new. Because you will have power you will have counter power. You will have a legitimacy to do something different. And of course, it's a risky business. I mean, you, you can be fired like Jesus Carrillo. Yes. That was major has been fired lately. Well, late, no, no, a week ago, recently. And yeah, and I'm, I'm over time, sorry. <coughs>